I always say that my books aren't about quilts, I always like to say that they're about quilters. Because beginning writers are always told to write what you know. Since I'm a quilter myself, I know a lot about the quilting community and about some of the inside jokes that quilters have and some of their little controversies and some of their quirks. Quilting and the beauty of quilts and the endless variety of patterns might be what draws people into quilting as an art form, but it's really the community that I think keeps people there. Because ever since the quilting bees that the pioneers celebrated so many generations ago, women and even men alike have drawn, come together around the quilting frame, working on communal projects and sharing stories and sharing confidences around the quilt frame. Women were not always encouraged, if they had an artistic bent, they were not always encouraged to become painters or become sculptors. And they often had a very difficult time of it if they wanted to pursue this artistic impulse. And often quilting was the one form of creativity that women were allowed to explore. One of the best things about hearing from my readers is to find out that they've taken some inspiration from one of my books and they've gone on to do wonderful things themselves. One very remarkable group of women was a book club at a women's prison near Racine, Wisconsin. And the women made a quilt and raveled it off to raise money for literacy programs within their own area. It meant a lot to me to know that my story had this effect that I never could have imagined when I was writing the book, but it's certainly very gratifying as an author to know that just a simple act of storytelling had wonderful results further down the road and it really did touch the readers' lives.